Hey guys, so it's time to uh, for me to uh, launch or start up and install the uh, Asus Pad Phone 2. And um, as I said in previous videos, this is a phone review unit that I got from Asus and they're having a contest right now. So um, the guys that uh, gets the most likes and comments on YouTube will actually get to keep the device. So, um, and also, you know, views on YouTube if I get a lot of views. Uh, I may also get to keep the Pad Phone 2. So I wanna do really good you know, work here with the Pad Phone 2. Um, so I've already, already made an unboxing. Right now it's time to check it out for the first time to start up. And as I've already said, I really, really like the build quality. The back feels kind of the same as the original one, but the side here, feels amazing that the buttons are so big and the aluminum feels really, really exclusive, like iPhone exclusive. So if we start up here. And I do enjoy a lot, um, a lot of other Asus products like the Nexus 7, an amazing tablet. So the first thing it wants me to do here is to select, okay, I'm gonna pick English, United States. Input method, going to go down, go to Swedish. And um, hmm. the sync data, I'm gonna do that later. Later, do I want to send stuff to Google? No, set up account later, select time zone. The date is totally wrong as well. So we are in February right now. It's the 20th. Did finish. Okay, there we go. So that's the first setup here of the Asus Pad Phone 2. It's rocking a quad core processor, a 720p screen, a 30 megapixel camera, 2140 mAh battery, uh, quad core at clocked at uh, 1.5 gigahertz. I think it's the chipset APQ8064, something like that. So the first thing I notice here is that it's kind of dark on the screen. There we go. So um, let's see how it looks. So it looks very um, much like Android 4.0. I wonder if it will get the update to... Uh, uh, okay, so I learned Rocky in 4.1 Jelly Bean, 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. And menus here, everything looks like Android 4.0, at least. Uh, very nice here with the home button here in the middle. And if you go down uh, here from the top, you can see that we do have the date and everything there at the top. We do have some quick widgets here to uh, auto-rotate Bluetooth. And it's just one tap to enable stuff. And let's say if you long press, can you go into that and you, it also seems like you can rearrange here very very easily I like that a lot a smart shaving is on uh, we do have uh, an auto mode here for the screen brightness if we want to have that turned on and then also we oh so we have normal mode and a outer mode uh, on the on the how bright the screen is yes I like that and then also we do have an audio wizard here. 
Okay, interesting. So we have a gaming mode. I'm not quite sure what these different modes means, uh, but they should the sound should be optimized in some kind of way. Right now, speech modes, of course, when you call, I'm pretty sure. And then we do have an option here to enable Wi-Fi, even though we also have an option here to enable Wi-Fi. And then when we go to the settings here, it almost looks like the stock version of Android. I'm pretty sure it's not the stock version of Android. Uh, but we also do have a weather widget here, just as we get with Samsung's devices. We you know usually get that kind of weather widget there uh, located. We can try the keys here, volume up and down. And also you can see that if you hold it for a long time, you get more options. Uh, the lock screen looks just like this. And you can quickly go into the camera mode. And let's see. So we have a tutorial here. The first time we do this in this tutorial, the tutorial you will learn some useful tips in this camera. Okay, sure, why not? Let's have my iPhone at the background. Oops. Uh, for better photos, please make sure your camera lens is clean. So as I said, this is a 30 megapixel camera. So the t it actually looks really, really clear when I focus in. I like that it doesn't have any weird lag when you uh, go around. Because the only 30 megapixel camera that I've tried is uh, the Xperia S and that one did lag when I was going around. And let's see here, we do have, I'm uh, pretty sure this is the zoom in feature. So if we zoom in, to almost the maximum, then we can go and take a picture. Take pictures pretty quick. And when we tap here, we do have a bunch of different settings for video mode as well. So if you want to take a video, you just tap down here instead. And does it have continuous focus? Yes, it does. And you can also see up here very good, you can see that you're recording 720p at 60 frames per second. Uh, I wonder if it can record 1080p at 60 frames per second. That would be very, very interesting to find out. But you have a bunch of features here. Video mode, you have a squeeze mode. Video mode, normal mode, big mouth, big eyes. Okay, so if you take pictures of someone, you want them to have big eyes. I suppose you can fix that. Uh, we have different video effects that we can already have it here. Nostalgic, Lomo, which create this cool effect, maybe if you like that. And we have another, a ton of other vampire. We have a grayscale, very, very basic one. Hmm, what did I do? Uh, if you go back, pick no effect, pick normal. And then also, of course, we do have the option here if we wanna take pictures in high resolution or lower resolution, high speed at 30 frames per second. You can see right now I'm recording in 30 frames. Doesn't seem to have any frame issues. Everything's like smooth and all. So very, very nice camera it seems like. And then if we go back, we also have settings for black and whites. Uh, we have the white balance. We can set it to auto or these basic daylight. You can, of course, experiment with these different modes uh, or just have auto if you don't want to play around with other things. We do have a panorama mode, which lets you take a long, long pictures. We have an HDR mode. So 
Sometimes I accidentally type that button. You can all see how many pictures, remaining pictures you can take. So HDR mode can create some cool pictures. And then videos is easily playable. And you can quickly share a video. So seems like also the microphone was pretty good. You can also go down to megapixels to only three megapixels if you would like to take smaller pictures. And then you have some stuff like self timer, screen brightness. You see it's on full right now. And then you can also disable the camera sound, which I do like location service. You can also turn that off. Uh, anti flicker, uh, if you see flicker on the screen, you can try to change that, I'm pretty sure, to 50 hertz. And then you also do have this tutorial down there in the power saving mode. And then also, of course, a quick mode to disable flash here. Or if you always want to take pictures with the flash. So that's a quick look at the camera. Of course, I will do more videos on the Asus Padfone 2. So far, it feels like a really, really solid phone for my first look here. Uh, really, really feels good in the hand. And uh, it, it really is big here down at the bottom. Uh, it makes it actually quite bigger than other 4.7 inch phones. Uh, but it still feels really big, feels really, really, really solid. Uh, if you have any specific thing you might want to see on this device, please let me know. Maybe a screen test, maybe a browser test, maybe iPhone 5 versus the Asus Padphone 2. Uh, I mean, there are a bunch, bunch of things I can do. I can do more videos about the apps that you do get inside of the Padphone 2 when you get it and when you buy it. PinPal, I've never seen that app before. Instant uh, Dictionary, my Bitcast. So we have a ton of different apps here. Tutorial, Cineo, Web Storage power saver sound recorder and uh, setup wizard and a bunch of other things so and then we can also try out here you can see how the multitasking mode works like you can see you don't have an option to remove every single app here which they maybe should add in a future version uh, you can see that we also do have the pad phone 2 had 38 percent and some other cool things. And I'm also probably gonna do a video where I hook it up to the Padphone station and check it out a little bit more, what you can do with it, and is, if it really is worth it. Right now, it feels like a really, really solid phone from Asus. Uh, really, really good camera, uh, really awesome sound, uh, and a bunch of other things. So, quick look here at the Asus Padphone 2. Hope you have enjoyed. And if you wanna see more videos, especially reviews on this phone, you should check out my daily phone reviews YouTube channel. Uh, I might put up something on that channel actually already today. So yeah, have a good day.